Welcome to A Recipe Reborn, featuring your favorite foods from Final Fantasy XIV. Hello, my name is Lemon Drop, and today I am making... Doman Rice Balls, which are featured in the Stormblood Culinary and Job Quests. The Warrior of Light helps Rolf improve his Doman food skills for the refugees living in Mordona. They are also featured in the Final Fantasy XV crossover event, where we enjoy them with Noctis during a camping trip. He said I remind him of Ignis, and I couldn't be more flattered. To make the basic rice balls, you only need rice, seaweed, salt, and water. I've got some other ingredients here as well for some variety. I've rinsed the rice, and now I'm soaking it while I prepare the tuna. After 30 minutes, I've strained the rice, and now I'm letting it drain for 15 minutes. There are a few ways to season your rice, but I find mixing the salt into the cooking water is the easiest and most consistent. Put the rice and water into a pot and bring it to a boil. Once boiling, cover with a tight-fitting lid, set the heat to low, and let it simmer for about 12 minutes. The rice should still be warm, but cool enough to handle. I've put one third into a bowl so that I can mix in the furikake. This particular one has sesame seeds, sugar, and seaweed. I got this onigiri mold from the Asian market, but there are other methods which I will demonstrate later. This time I'm using the plain rice, filling the mold halfway, spooning in some tuna, and then covering with more rice. For the plain rice balls, I'm using a plastic zip bag and then gently pressing the rice into the corner to form a triangle. Truly, the key to the success of your rice ball shape is using a consistent amount of rice, so make sure to use a measuring cup for portioning. And that's it. These are ready to serve and eat. These are perfect for a quick weeknight dinner or for your next camping trip or road trip with your buddies. For the full recipe and instructions, please check out the link to my website in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. And if you love Final Fantasy XIV food, please think about subscribing. If you get really inspired and make this dish at home, please tweet and Instagram your pictures to me at our recipe reborn. I'd also love to hear your tips and variations, so please share them in the comments below. See you next time and bye for now.